This is the Windows 11 File Explorer. Yeah, it finally has tabs and is better than Windows 10, but it still has some flaws. Why can't I see the size of all the files in a folder? Why can't it remember the icon size of my files every time I reopen it? So, I was wondering, could I actually make my own simple file explorer who just works? No useless stuff, just the option to explore your files. So let's go back in time and actually make it. First off, let's block out the layout. I need a sidebar, a top bar, and the actual file display. And for this project, I'm going the extra step and actually making it resizable. For that, I'm messing with the anchor and dock properties as well as using some custom on resize codes to move around my file display. Here's how it works. For the top bar, I anchor it to the top and left and set the dock to the top. For the sidebar, I anchor it to the top, bottom and left and set the dock to none. And for the file display, I anchor it to the bottom and right. And then I use this code, which does some math and changes the size and location, basically making it so that the file display is located at this position and that the anchor resizes it to the form. For these two, I'm using panels and for the file display, I'm using a flow layout panel. Next, it's time to get the files and folders added. For that, I'm going to be using a user control, which is basically a template I can then copy paste the data in it to my file display. So I added a new user control, changed its size to be long, downloaded the fontawesome.sharp nugget package to easily have access to a library of customizable icons. I added an icon picture box, set its icon to a file, I added labels for the name, size, and file extension. I added variables into the user control initialization and assigned them to the labels. Good, I'm done with the user control design. Now let's write some code for loading the user controls. For that I have two functions, add item for loading a single file and load items for going through each file and folder in a directory. The first function creates a new user control instance, passes some variables and adds on click and on double click events which I'll be using later. And in the main loading function, I loop through each folder and then loop through each file and call the add item function. Also, the icon on the user control changes based on is the item a file or a folder. Let's now add the ability to open folders. I use the double click method I added earlier, which tells my form I am this folder and I just got opened. And my form then slaps the folder name to the end of the current path, clears the file display and just loads everything again using the new directory. And let's click on the folder to open it. And inside we have a message from this video sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is the number one interactive learning platform with thousands of lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. Brilliant is designed to be uniquely effective as each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving, a method proven to be six times more effective than watching videos. Brilliant has a perfect mix of problems, competitive features, and encouragement that keeps you motivated and on track. Brilliant helps build your critical thinking skills through problem solving and not memorizing. They believe that you should understand and not just remember. Learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to this link. Brilliant's also given my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited access to everything Brilliant has to offer. Okay. Now let's actually click on the folder and it loads up the content of it flawlessly. Awesome. Now I had to get rid of that ugly white scroll bar here. That didn't go well. I managed to remove it, but couldn't get my better one to work. Welcome back to using random code from Stack Overflow. I managed to find a fix for having the Windows scroll bar dark and not white by implementing some random code from here. And now I have it looking nice. Like it now even has this nice fade animation. Let's now add in the icon buttons for the functions you actually need in the file explorer. Like return, go back, go forward, copy, paste, delete, cut, pin folder, and rename. For that I'm using icon picture boxes and tiny panels as separators. And as I can't focus, after that I'm implementing selecting files. For that I'll be using the onclick function I added before. 
I use some code from Stack Overflow, which basically tells my form which user control is being selected. Then my form will add it to a list of directories that have been selected. Now, I'm not a fan of holding control to select files, so you just have to click on them and you press escape to deselect all. Now, don't worry for the actions which can be done on only one selection. I also saw the last selected directory and run them on that. Okay, the first thing I added is deleting files, which you can see here, everything's working. And this is the code. I loop through each directory and if it's a file, use file.delete and if it's a folder, use directory.delete. Simple, simple. Then I did all the other ones. I won't go over them now as there's a lot of them. And also, I quickly want to mention that I just launched channel membership. So if you want exclusive programming content, consider joining. Well, now I was bored, so I quickly implemented checks if anything was selected and adjusted the color of the icons based on that. Now, this was very easy as I just had to change the icon color property of the picture boxes from fontawesome.sharp and it handles the icon color. Now, I just saw that it would be a good idea to add a refresh button and for the code, I just have to clear the file display panel and then call the load items function to load everything again. The file explorer is looking good here, so I'll turn my attention to the sidebar. What I want is to add three things here. Common folders, which are stuff like downloads, desktop, documents, etc. Drives and pin folders. For this, I'm also using a flow layer panel, which I'll add onto the regular panel. For the two components, I'm again using user controls. The first one will just be an icon and a label. And here's how it looks. Now, for the drive component, it's going to be the same as before, but I'm adding an extra label for the disk size and the usage. And space below for a progress bar, which will indicate how much disk space is being used up. Quick intermission to add a text box with the path up here. Yes, it's done now. You're welcome. Now let's go back to the sidebar. This is how it looks with the whole UI. I have my C drive and my D drive where I have footage for these videos. It's starting to fill up, so subscribe so that I can have more storage. Now I just have to finish some random stuff like the folder size and I'm done. Hello, hello, hello. Here it is. Got the sidebar. Beautiful. Got videos. Got my drives. Got some random peeling folders. You can see it works here, all these buttons here, you can select something, copy, delete, select, deselect. Clearly the best file explorer ever made. And look here, is this the file size of the folder? Yes, finally. Wow, innovative technology, I, I must say. Photos on GitHub, goodbye.